Hamtech M0FXB, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features of the Kenwood D75. And I'm going to start off by showing you one of the ones that I am most impressed with, and that is the DigiPeter function. And now, I'm not going to show you the setup in this, but I'm going to show you it in action, and then we'll go through the other new things about the Kenwood D75. So, we're going to Beacon TX, and what's going to happen is the 75 is going to retransmit it to the world and to my FT5D that you can see here. So watch this. Just going to press beacon. And did you hear there was two transmissions? And the screen of the 74 gives you an idea of the settings. But anyway, let's do that again. Retransmission by the 75. So that's function number one. The next function is dual digital receive, DR mode on the A band and the B band. So a and B, let's back out there, go to the B, that's my open spot, go on to the A band, and that is my Pi Star hotspot. Got Ian there chatting away. So I can change channels on my open spot, and you'll see two stations come through. So let me just, I'm using my dashboard on my PC. And we're going to change reflector, and even if it's not busy, we'll see someone. Uh, we'll see the the change happen. So we just go quick setup. You select D star. At the moment, we're on reflector 30. And to to remove the receive green screen, just press menu, and then we're going to go to a different reflector altogether. Let's do 21. We're going to go connect, and watch a second signal come here as it tries to connect. There it goes. And you can actually control the volume separately. You just press 9. And then you can, you know, you can decide which one A or B is louder. So that's the dual D star now shown. Right, another one. It's a small one, but it's still a change and that is let's go back to single screen by going F then dual so we're in a single screen you can see in single screen we've selected that we view gps and we've got a gps lock and as you know this has got bluetooth and this radio does hf as well and you can program this radio and control things via bluetooth you don't actually have to have a usb connection and a built-in sd card as well full aprs tnc and packet radio so if we go menu then go to display which i think is in this cog here yeah, top of the list, display, and go down until you see single display. The new thing that's been added is demodulation mode. So go down, enter, and single band. Yeah, I've selected that, so we go back out of that completely. Hit menu. Sometimes you hit the digital button for back, sometimes menu. And now it's showing that we're in DR mode. If we come out of DR, now remember to go in and out of DR, you need to be in VFO mode which is number one, that's not memory mode. So we'll just come out by pressing digital. Um, and then we'll go to, you'll see now it's showing FM and we can change the modes. It's not gonna let us on the A band, but if we go to the B band, come out of digital by pressing digital. And now we can scroll through the different modes, AM, FM, USB, LSB, and yes, we can do sideband, we can do AM, we can do CB. It's all in here if we want to do it. Uh, receive, mind, yeah? And we'll interface with the computer and we do have IF out for an SDR dongle. The next big change is the actual case. This is a beautiful feeling, solid case. It's got that really nice, sort of, I don't know what they call it, but it's beautiful. The, the buttons are backlit with the sort of light blue and very, very light orange, I would say, um, as you can see there. It is virtually the same battery as the 74 and you can swap them, but it just feels solid, it feels solid. And USB-C charging, you might think, well, I don't really use USB-C charging on my radios, but no, you will, because all mobile phones will soon be USB-C. You can charge with the DC input or the USB-C and you've got your SD card there. And of course you can fit your, your Kenwood microphone there. Bluetooth wise, if you go to menu, go to setting, go to Bluetooth, no, go to actually 
interface is probably a better one to go to look at interface everything can be changed between USB and and Bluetooth I mean how cool is that and you've got lots of information on the screen if you're using a repeater you've got the time on the screen everything you're going to need and a quick quick selection there for GPS just press the hash on off that's how quickly you can select it on the front you've got everything labeled VFO you've got tones shifts for your repeaters it's all there on the front you're either gonna uh, use the blue text which is the F button or the normal text just by pressing the button the next new feature is what they call DV connect and big thanks to PA7 LIM who has created this app so we can connect via Bluetooth our radio to these reflectors XLX DCS XRF without having to to use these devices so we're going to turn them off let's turn them off I'm going to turn off this hotspot and we're going to show you how that works. We have the new DV gateway mode. So you go menu, go across to the settings cog, and actually the D, the star cog. Press it and go down until you see DV gateway. Then press enter. This is effectively terminal mode. Then press enter. Turn it on. When you come out, you're going to see the word terminal appear and this opens up lots of possibilities because terminal mode yes it works with the the new PA7 LIM app and apparently eventually it will work via a USB cable as well if we want but it may work with other items so let's check it out we will need to pair our Bluetooth with this device in pairing mode you just go menu go down to the little cog press settings Bluetooth and then go down and select pairing mode and eventually it will show up on this screen and then you just tap it so you're now paired and you'll get a message on both devices and if it doesn't work first time just keep trying because it's a bit like that but it looks like it has worked so okay on the radio first allow and then pair then we'll go back to the screen of the app so now when you hit the we're not turned nothing's turned on here we we'll hit the cog and now when you do the drop down you should get one that shows up as being the D75. There it is there, the 75. We have a frequency there, I'm not sure if that matters. Call sign. Turn it on. And then we can start to choose where we want to go. You've got favourites there, so we'll go reflector and we're going to choose. We've turned all the other hotspots off. One Charlie. We've got the C here and we're going to hit connect. Not linked. Not linked yet, but you know, you do have to wait. If someone's already talking, you do have to wait. Try again. Reflector is busy, but you can Not choose. Linked. If you look at this list, you can choose f your favorites. XLX, DCS, reflectors and XRF. How good is that? So it's fantastic. We'll try another one, shall we? Let's do Hubnet. I use Hubnet quite a lot, which is XLX 477B. And that's actually an analog connection for me normally, but you can enter it with D-Star and then we'll go connect. And there's my yeah, friends at Hubnet. The, um, and you can do this nice. anywhere in the world. Uh, right, you can right, use right. a tablet, an Android tablet. Uh, I've got a really nice tablet here that I plan to test it on here in the background beautiful tablet you see that a bit dusty at the moment but yeah that's another test okay next item and I really recommend you join the hubnet group you can go in via digital you can go in via DMRD star fusion you can go in via analog there's lots of gateways all around the country just check it out hubnet UK I know that in the USA they advertise this as a tri-bander as well and it has 144, 220 and 430 transceive. You can get air band, marine band, of course, HF bands, VHF, UHF. One new function is this, uh, this shortcut for adding hotspots. So if we come out, now to use DR mode, so we'll have to come completely out of this at the moment. So we just turn that off, like so, and we'll go menu, we'll turn off terminal mode. Remember the star, the star, then did date DV gateway and just turn that off. And now we're in normal DR mode. So when you hold down, you can 
select different repeaters, okay? And there's a big long list, okay? There you go, big long list of repeaters, excellent. You can select one and it puts it at the bottom. If you're near that repeater, it will work. If you're near a hotspot, it will work, but you do need to be in range, otherwise you're gonna hear nothing. So the new thing they've added is if you hold it down, yeah, then go down. They've added a new one called hotspot list. So you don't have to keep searching and searching for your hotspots now. You've got a separate list just for hotspots. That's the new thing and it's very convenient. Uh, then we've still got the nearby repeater search uh, based on your GPS, which I haven't got at the moment. That's because I uh, turned off the manual, but it will do that. I go back to GPS, leave it on. But what we do is we click to the right. No, actually, let's get it right. My position, we click to the right and it will, and again, now turn the top knob and there you are. We can now click use and it's going to use our manual position. Let's try that repeater search again. Nearby, Yeah, it's doing it now. And it will only do it once and everything's there, but then you have to reboot it. But as you can see, it did do it. It does find analog ones, but as far as I can see, when it comes to transmitting, it stays on DV. You've got the information there, but it stays on DV. Just an aesthetic thing that I noticed that the, the volume control is sunken into the head unit where the GPS is. Just an aesthetic thing that I've noticed. The belt clip looks the same. The, the case, I think, is virtually the same as the 74, so that's not... A big change there. And these radios, they'll, they'll send text messages. You've got DV fast mode. You've got an internal antenna for the HF side. And you've got broadcast radio menu. You just go down there, look, broadcast radio. Turn that on. And you're listening to your favorite radio stations. So we call this memory. Okay, and it's like a tri-bander now because it will receive that and everything else as well. So I think I've remembered everything. You know, the question is from many people is why get, you know, why get the 75? I've got the 74 because it's a, it's an improved model. It's a lot newer. The 75 came out in 2016. Um, it's like if they bring out a car and then two years later, they bring out the virtually the same car, but it's got improvements and enhancements. That's why. And yes, it does cost more to buy a radio in 2000. 24 than it cost in 2016 so i think ken would have done a great job there you know behind the scenes they're working on another another radio and there's they're com completely committed to the ham radio community and the ham radio hobby and their and their history and reputation of making some of the best ham radio equipment in the world so thanks very much for watching my youtube channel uh, if you like it, please remember to hit the like and subscribe and catch you on air because I'm on air all the time. I'm on Hubnet. I've been playing around with my Midlands app. Go to my the free download Midlands app and you'll catch me on Hamtech channel. Just chatting away and learning and helping friends and help, you know, helping each other. And uh, It's just a great hobby. 7-3, all the best.